Hi, hello. This is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about Windows app. You have heard about Windows operating system. Now this is the first time you might be hearing about Windows app. What is Windows app? That is what we are going to check out in this video. We'll discuss what is the difference between Windows app and Windows 365 app. And you can get Windows app in iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, probably in Linux operating systems in future, as well as in Android devices. We'll see the details in the video. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. So let's look at Windows app. What is Windows app? What is the difference between Windows 365 app and Windows app? With Windows app, Microsoft is giving a unified experience for all the Windows devices in the cloud. So for example, Windows 365 cloud PC, AVD, Azure Virtual Desktop and DevBox. These are the main cloud offerings from Microsoft. Microsoft and Windows app is going to be one client application which is going to be used in future for connecting to all these windows in the cloud offering. So if you want to connect to a Windows VM in AVD, you need to use Windows app. You can use it from any device. You can use it from Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS and Android is coming. Probably Linux is also coming maybe in future with the help of partners like iJail, etc. Let's look at Windows app and we will share some more details about Windows app. So first let's start with windows 365 app which was already released and this is the version number of that particular application version number is 131950 that is the version number of windows 365 application and that is what i have over here okay as you can see it is windows 365 app and it can only show the windows 365 cloud pcs at the moment okay now let's close this and search for Windows app in Microsoft Store and see what is happening over there. You can see this is the Windows app and it seems it is already installed on this device. That's interesting because I never installed Windows app which is released recently. When I click on the app and check the version details over here installed version and release date it was released back in may back in may so that means i'm guessing windows 365 app got renamed windows app now it's not no more windows 365 app but it is windows app and the installed version is same over here for windows 365 and windows app and this is in preview that's why probably there are some confusions like this so you don't need to worry about that it is windows app and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uninstall windows 365 app and it got uninstalled Let's check whether Windows app is there or not. Windows, no, Windows app is not there. It got uninstalled. Now, let's go to home page and then search again for Windows app. Still says installed. Strange. Let's open it. Now, it's not getting opened. I don't know why. Now what we are going to do is close the store, opening the Microsoft store again and then searching for Windows app. It says on. It is not installed now. It shows on, but if I click on it, I can install Windows app now because I have uninstalled Windows 365 app. Click on install. Now it is downloading as you can see over here and now it is installed. Okay, now you can see it over here. Windows app, it was Windows 365 app before. Now it is Windows app and the sign in screen, everything got changed. So if you want to get windows app on your device if you have installed windows 365 app from the store my recommendation would be uninstall it and then try to install windows app but ideally this upgrade process and rename process of application should be transparent to end users before going into login screen let's look at windows app properties over here so this is windows app over here you would be able to see cloud pc AVD, Davebox, you can use 
Windows app to connect to any of the Windows cloud devices or cloud PCs. It can be a cloud PC or it can be a AVD Azure Virtual Desktop device or it can be a My Dave Box device. So one application can cater all the Windows in cloud solutions from a client side perspective. So it says secure access to Windows 365 Azure Virtual Desktop and Dev Box as you can see over here Cloud PC, AVD and Dev Box and you can have option to easily switch accounts to access all your devices and apps using this option over here that's also very useful now let's look into sign in option of windows app let's click on sign in and click on the account i'm going to enter the password i'm going to sign in to a user and it didn't ask for the password because probably it was stored when I tried this with Windows 365 app now it gives more options over here Windows apps as you can see Windows app and preview this is a preview version of the app at the moment and then you can see the account details over here this is where you can switch the account and notification is there just similar to Windows 365 app and then you can go through the app and it seems Microsoft is concentrating on providing better security options with Windows app. Click on done. Welcome to Windows app. Pin your devices to home. Okay, go to device. As you can see, there's Azure Virtual Desktop device. Also a cloud PC assigned to this particular user. And it says last connected six hours ago and you have different options over here if you click on the three dots menu over here you would be able to see restart reset restore rename inspect connection pin options view details options add to task view settings option so restart reset you know restart restarting the cloud pc reset is resetting the cloud pc if you have access and then restore options are there rename the cloud pc the display name over here not the actual computer name inspect the connection so you can inspect the connection over here by clicking on this it is inspecting the connection as you can see over here and over here and until the inspection is done you won't be able to connect to cloud pc so you can filter on cloud pc and if you want you can filter on avd azure virtual desktop windows vm in the cloud and if you look at application home page you can see this is the home page and this is the device and in settings you would be able to see the version details and use system settings you can make it light mode dark mode or use system settings i would prefer system settings normally and there's a feedback option over here if you check out this and if you click on the account you can log into different accounts from this and the inspection is still going on what if i change the preview if i turn off the preview it will be a windows 365 application and once you open it it is going to be preview disabled and then you can enable the preview to make it windows app from windows 365 app now you know the difference between windows 365 app and windows app windows app is in preview and if you disable the preview then it will become windows 365 app so let's go back and check the connection status over here it is still doing something now as you can see the inspection is over and you can see the ready to connect option and let's look into pin to options there are two options pin to home pin to taskbar and then view details these are the details of that particular cloud pc os version details are there and the cloud pc name is there and the license details are here and then last sign in details device name is there all those details are available under view details add to task view you can use that option to add a task view button over there 
got added and if you look at settings you would be able to see the default setting options over here or you can customize settings as per your requirement if you want to adjust the display configuration you can click on the three dots over here and click on settings and then you can switch off the default settings option and change it to single display if you prefer that now let's connect it is going to ask for the password okay entering the password now it says connecting as you can see over here it's asking for password again now it is launching the cloud pc now we have launched the cloud pc as you can see over here we have logged into cloud pc over here okay Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around. Bye bye. Take care. Now that you have seen all the details about Windows app, you know the difference between Windows 365 app and Windows app and the unified client application for all the Windows offering in Microsoft Cloud. This is going to replace RD client, etc., etc., for Windows 365 use. You can see you are. Cloud PCs, AVD VMs and DevBox VMs from one particular application that is Windows app. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.